Aloha. I want to talk a little bit about inflammation. We tend to think of inflammation as something negative, something bad. And that's not all true because inflammation is how the body heals itself. So when you get a cut on your hand, all these chemicals from your body go to the cut. They help make it swell, it bleeds, it scabs, and then it's gone. That's inflammation. When you get sick or a flu, you get run down. That's inflammation. That's the immune system healing itself. So that's good. That's the body's way of handling illness. Cuts. We get little cuts inside our body all the time and they're fixing it. What's bad is when the body gets overwhelmed and it can't handle all the parts of inflammation. So I get patients who are healthy, they eat well, they exercise, and they still end up with heart disease. And you think, how can that be? Because you're healthy, right? And many times it's the parts of our lifestyle that get overlooked. And the big one is stress. Stress is very accepted in our society. Stress, um, stressful jobs, stressful families, stressful lives, activities, lots going on. That becomes overwhelming for the body. Now you add in a meal that maybe isn't so good for you, uh, a couple nights of no sleep. Well, now the body's overwhelmed and you become, you start having symptoms and those symptoms, if not resolved, lead to disease. And that's when inflammation becomes bad. So, and none of us have perfect diets, right? We're always going to have something and whether it's some, whether it's, just having something that's not organic, that's got some pesticides in it or something like that, all cause little insults to the body. So stress is something that we can all reduce. And this is why I have my gongs behind me because for me, meditation is not the easiest, but sound meditation ah, is way better for me. I can, my mind can slip right into a relaxation and I can work things out in my brain and it's very healing for me. So important to find ways for you to de-stress. If you can't quit your job, go outside, get some fresh air, put your feet, your bare feet on the ground. Um, these things really good for reducing stress because stress will literally kill you. And so you want to build up some resiliency in your body. It's like, having too many apps open on your phone. Have your, has your phone ever started acting weird and it's not, you know, you're pushing it and it's just thinking, thinking, thinking. And then you realize, oh my God, I've got all these apps open and you gotta close the apps so that the phone can focus and do the tasks that it needs to do. Well, we're kind of like a cell phone and we've got too many apps open. So you gotta close some of those apps, get a good night's sleep, do some hiking, do some meditation, eat some you know, fresh food, green juice, ah, then the body is happy again. So I just wanted to come on and clear that up about inflammation. It's not all bad, but we want the inflammation to work for us, not against us, and not overwhelm our bodies with inflammation. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know what you think, if you have any other questions. Otherwise, mahalo for listening.